Hallo und willkommen, ich bin Meister Lenze and you're watching Get Germanized Car of Thoughts. Reasons against moving to Germany. I am bored. What should I do? Ah, ich weiß. Get People might say, well, Germany, the greatest country in the world, we all love it. But I also get many people saying to me, well, dude, Germany isn't perfect. Why don't you make a video for once, just for once, right, where you show the real face of Germany, where you show why Germany isn't so great. And I'm like, okay, I can think of something, I bet. And so here we go. <laughs> well, first of all, real life examples here, right? The general attitude of people isn't the greatest at all times believe it or not oh my god who would have thought germany and the attitude what not the greatest at all times yeah no it is sometimes uh, more or less questionable because well people can be very rude at least you know in comparison to other countries or let's say direct right we will say what we think uh, we don't like chit chat, chit -chat. Uh, we don't like talking around a topic we want to come straight to the point we get frustrated when people are like blah 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 and then after an hour you know there's what i really wanted to say we want to hear what you have to say right away basically um that can be perceived as quite rude and i completely understand that <laughs> and also germans are said to be very well they stick to themselves uh, in public like in other countries like ireland you would have uh well a more open approach to these kind of things right you would have people that talk to you on the bus on the train my friend uh let's call her Eufe <laughs> from ireland actually she told me that when she first came here she got really sad and frustrated about the fact that people just would not be open you know she's used to well Irish behavior where when you go out people talk to you people are very happy and open and approach you you can easily make new friends and I say to a degree that's also possible in Germany for sure like don't don't think we're unsocial creatures we're not we're definitely not especially after a few beers I'm just saying if you come from a country where it's super social right super uh, let's say extroverted all the time that's not the case here when i go outside and look at people i mostly have a serious face on because i'm thinking about my own stuff i'm not even looking at people like i have tunnel vision most of the time and many people will think uh, oh man that dude's having a bad day i mean maybe i am but <laughs> like that's not necessarily why i look that way at that time i'm just thinking about my own stuff I'm not gonna be super cheerful for no reason, right? But mostly when people approach me, I'm gonna be friendly. But this video is about the negative points, right? So this can be perceived as very rude. And that leads me to my next point. Why is it that people are that way sometimes? Why is the general attitude in Germany a bit more serious, a bit more pessimistic, maybe even a bit more negative? Well. The weather, das Wetter, I would say, is definitely a factor. Not the main factor, maybe, but definitely a factor here. Um, because in Germany, I mean, today is a nice day, that's why I'm filming this video. But this is a rare day, right? <clears throat> Usually it's gray skies only. The sun doesn't even peek through. Maybe in the mornings a little bit, and then for the rest of the day it's gonna hide. Can be very frustrating, uh, very depressing even. Winter depression is a real thing. Winter depression here in Germany. Um, I definitely have felt it before. You just, you know, you see gray every day, and that rhymes, even though it's a bad thing. Uh, <laughs> because usually things that rhyme are good. But um, yeah, no, definitely the weather can be an influential factor. I just noticed the difference right away when I wake up and the skies are blue right then i just feel instantly refreshed i feel motivated to start the day to do what i want to do uh, to to achieve goals and all of that but when the skies are gray all day it's a different kind of story it's it's a bit boring it's a bit like oh god i get this again you know uh, it looks like concrete in the skies 
What is this? <laughs> is that the autobahn in the sky? Am I dead yet? No, but it's it's just, you know, sad sometimes here in Germany. When you look at the weather, at least. And who would want to live in a country like that, really, hey? So definitely think twice about it. And the summers can be very, well, short. I have recently posted something on Instagram, a picture saying, hey, do you want beauties to surround you? Try Germany. And we have beautiful summers one day every year. And that's kind of true because German summers can be very short or very mixed. <coughs> like the weather can be super nice and hot one day and then the next day it's cold and rainy again. And what's up with that? Like <laughs> I don't get it sometimes. It's very, very frustrating at times. So uh, be prepared when you come to good old Deutschland. Also, winters can be very cold sometimes. <laughs> I mean, when I grew up, right, there was snow in Germany. There was like snow that is 30 centimeters high. How much inches? I don't know. Uh, it's, it's quite high, right? It was nice. You could go sledding. You could go ice skating. Not so much these days. I mean, you can go ice skating in an ice skating hall, but outside uh, it rarely ever becomes cold enough for long enough here uh, during the winter. So that is also something you should keep in mind. Winter can be quite cold, but if you expect a winter wonderland, not everywhere in Germany at least, that's not gonna be the case. Uh, maybe in the south it's more prevalent and in the alpine regions. And in the alpine regions for sure, there you're gonna get that. I assume, I don't live there, I live in the north. As you can see, everything is kind of flat here. <laughs> Um, I still like it, you know, and winters can be snowy every now and then you will have a few days of snow here Maybe even longer if you're super lucky, but that is also very rare these days. That was a close encounter right there He didn't he didn't go to the left at all anyway or to the right his right Whatever escape death next point something else that uh, bugs people when they come to Germany is the bureaucracy it's this thing you will have heard before right about Germany bureaucracy is terrible blah, blah, so many forms to fill out for even going to the toilet no but you know I mean we have to pay a euro sometimes or 50 cents for public toilets keep that in mind they are very clean but anyway bureaucracy <laughs> toilet was just a bonus point for you right there no charge no extra charge um, yeah, bureaucracy can be frustrating. Um, for example, if you want to book a train ticket, there is a long, relatively long, in comparison to maybe other countries, it's a long form that you have to fill out, right? To uh, buy it online. If you buy it at the station, not so much, but different story. Uh, if you want to register as a citizen, I talked about this in my other video, which I will link in the video description and in the info box here, it should pop down, um, you know, then you will have to fill out so many forms, it will be frustrating. And even with other things, uh, if you move to a different city, you have to register with the uh, local offices there. And that can be, um, yeah, harsh on a foreigner, I suppose, when you're not used to that kind of stuff. So bureaucracy is something you should keep in mind if you're not into that kind of stuff. If you feel like, oh, bureaucracy, it's too much, I can't deal, then Germany might not be for you. We Germans just love rules, that's <laughs> ingrained. That is also why we have strict recycling policies. Ooh, what a swift transition, oh my God. Uh, recycling is very strict here. You can even be fined by your uh, landlord if you don't recycle correctly, right? So if they put out bins, but you're saying, Ugh, I don't really care, you know, I'll just put the plastic in the paper, bi paper bin and the paper on the floor in front of the bin. Then, well, the landlord can come and fine you uh, quite severely. Well, it, it is a fine, at least, you know, it's annoying. You will have to pay it. Otherwise, uh, yeah, not good. No good relations with your landlord from that point on, most likely. It is not as strict as in Japan, for example, where they have even more bins. Like I went to Tokyo last year and it was just like, hmm, okay. So where does what go? And it, they, they even warned me like, oh, you have to recycle correctly or like heavy fines. Be, be, be aware. I mean, same as in Germany, I suppose. I'm not sure if the fines are equally or even higher, like if they're equally as expensive or even higher, I don't know. 
I suspect even higher since Japan seems even more orderly and strict than Germany sometimes uh, from what I've seen especially it's such a clean city Tokyo they don't have paper bits anyway <laughs> moving on to more rules sometimes a community is forced here in Germany what that means is well it has to do with your landlord again if you rent somewhere then you get like swiping week sometimes your whole apartment if you live in a flat share uh, you will have to decide who whose turn it is really to do that but swiping week means that you will have to well swipe your staircase or um, the pavement in front of your apartment even you need to keep it clean in the winter you need to put salt on it so that it's not icy and and you know that people don't break their necks on it because if they break their necks on it then well I, I think uh, the landlord can be sued as far as I have heard so you want to make sure that that's not the case just the pavement in front of your apartment though uh, not the whole pavement obviously just the, the piece that is you know in front of your house do clean that please forest community well I mean it is not necessarily a law maybe it is actually <laughs> I forgot uh, but you know on Sundays generally Sunday is a day where Germans don't do much they especially don't mow their lawns or do anything noisy because Sonntag is Ruhetag Germany has a well a national peace and quiet day basically it's Sunday Sonntags right Sunday apocalypse all shops are closed anyway most of them Sh corner shops are not closed and petrol stations fuel gas stations whatever you want to call them are open but many things are closed down on a Sunday in, in Germany definitely keep that in mind when you do your shopping do it on Saturday, do it on Friday, not on Sunday because, well, it's closed. Again, there might be exceptions somewhere in Germany, maybe in big cities, there are like 24 hour stores, but that's not necessarily the case very often. Next up, another quite obvious one, I would say the language. Um, well, poets and authors have said it before, the German language is hard, life is too short to learn the German language, and they have, you know, you get a point. German is quite difficult and if you're not really into learning new languages or learning languages in general uh, then you know you might face a big problem that you might not be able to solve I said in the other video that I filmed that you know it's not that bad and it, it's not that bad yeah it isn't for people who like languages if you really don't though then it's a big problem I would say and without the German language you won't be able to get many jobs here at all in Germany you will be able to get jobs sometimes in English speaking companies for example in Berlin Munich wherever in Cologne maybe big cities media cities right but mostly if you want a normal blue-collar job you will have to speak German so keep that in mind job market it's gonna be harsh if you don't speak the language the language is still a big barrier if you come from another country next up are the taxes yes you heard me right high taxes in Germany I mean we do have a welfare system that is open for all that helps you even if you you know don't have the money um, that is why we have high taxes for example a 42% income tax here in Germany that means if you earn over like let's say 52,000 euros a month then well 42% goes off of that you won't be able to keep almost half of your paycheck if you're well one of the more how do you say that well earning people if you are prover if you're a high, highly paid professional then you will have to give a lot of the money back to the state which is frustrating I understand um, but that's just how it is also we have a, a very high rate of VAT it's 19% so keep that in mind you will have to pay all of that of course on top of the well health care costs that come monthly that are necessary that are mandatory you are well legally bound to paying uh, your health insurance costs like through either state health insurance or private health insurance so make sure that you have enough funds to well sustain life here in Germany next up Germany is still somewhat of a cash country um, more so in the past but it's still you know it's still in some areas where you can only pay with cash 
I wouldn't say everywhere anymore just because usually when I go out and ask if I can pay, I pay with debit card or even credit card then it's okay but don't think you can pay via card everywhere definitely carry at least some amount of cash around with you especially in these older smaller stores or let's say Christmas markets often you can't pay there with card or fun fairs like these events right Sometimes they, they do have cash machines um, or card machines, but not every time. So, you know, just be safe, carry some cash, and uh, you won't have any problems. Also keep in mind that the cash machines will charge you a high fee if it's not a cash machine from your bank, right? If it's a bank machine from, let's say, Deutsche Bank at your Sparkasse, then they will charge you, what, I don't know, three to five euros, something like that. I think it's insanely high just for using another, you know, machine. Ah, uh, but oh well, that's well what you will have to pay. Also, something that people might not know about is if you have an account with a bank, some banks charge you a monthly fee just for having the account with them. Like they, they don't really do anything other than provide that account and you will have to pay like also I think two to five bucks a month for that. <clears throat> And last but not least, uh, TV in Germany is, is quite terrible, I would say. I've made this uh, list once, right, this list video about the top 10 most popular German TV shows. And by that I didn't mean the best, I just meant the most popular, right? So there's a big, big difference in my opinion. Since all of these shows or most of these shows were really soapy, and terrible copies of American or English shows. I think there was Lindenstraße in there, I don't remember actually. That's a copy of Coronation Street from the UK. It's actually one of the better shows here in Germany. One of the most long running shows as well, right? But mostly German TV just copies everything and it doesn't copy it well. One of the only few examples that I have where German TV copies something well is Stromberg. I always mention this. Uh, it's a copy of The Office, right? I like the uh, American office the best, to be honest, even though the British one was the first one. But German TV copied it quite well as well, you know, it's, it's fine. It's not the worst copy I've ever seen, so definitely something I will suggest to foreigners if they want to watch something in German. But mostly, for Germans at least, German TV is quite bad, or even German dub. Uh, for movies because we dub everything right which is it's luxury I guess because most countries would just have subtitles but we actually will have dubbing for most movies for almost all of the movies that come from Hollywood uh, like Star Wars Lord of the Rings whatever and we don't have to read while watching the movie that is nice but I mean if you don't look at these big movies at least because the voice actors for those movies are great right they're doing a fantastic job I don't mind watching those in German but for some movies horror movies for example they just you know they they don't really hire the best actors and you notice that because the voice acting is quite terrible sometimes and that ruins the movie as well you know it's just it just ruins the mood for a horror movie for example if the voice actor is really bad and can't really convey the emotion that it's supposed to be conveyed in that scene well, that's bad because then you're not scared you start laughing I mean it might be good for like a b-movie trash movie kind of evening but if you really want to be in a scary mood and stuff like that then eh, not so great and so that is something you have to keep in mind as well German dubbing can be bad and German TV in general like I said definitely bad as well uh, I mean there might be people who say what German TV is great German TV is the best but for me personally I would put it on a negative list when talking about things here in Germany so that's it with the list uh, the reasons why you should not move to Germany if you have any more things maybe things that I missed definitely let me know in the comments section down below like the video very important share it with your friends share it with people that consider moving to Germany or that are just interested in Germany you know it might not change their minds and I don't really want them to hate Germany but maybe you know just keep some things in mind so that you're not surprised and disappointed once you move here or once you come here on a holiday I don't want that you know just keep in mind that Germany is a great country but it's not perfect
I mean what country is really so subscribe if you haven't yet you know share the video like it follow me on my social media I got Instagram Facebook all of the things I have a twitch channel where I live stream gaming uh, get Germanized on twitch get Germanized gaming on YouTube my both both my gaming channels fantastic quality content on there so definitely watch that and also apart from that thank you very much for watching don't forget to get Germanized goodbye and auf Wiedersehen